A lot of you expressed interest on an update on my heart. And since it's still beating, I can do that for you. Because recently I posted a video called I spent my birthday in the hospital. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, my heart basically was frequently skipping beats to the point that not enough blood was pumping for me to stand up. So I went to urgent care. Urgent care was like, go to the hospital. I went to the hospital and I spent the day there and the tests came back with nothing. Now, there was not a cardiologist at the ER at the time, so they had me schedule an appointment, which is where that video left off because I recorded that video right before my first cardiology appointment. And so, yeah, I'll get into that now. Also, if it looks like I'm crying and red, well, I was outside and I got sunburned and I forgot to take allergy medication, but I feel like it adds to the mood of the video. I don't know. It probably doesn't, but whatever. Also, if you're the kind of person to Google when you're feeling sick and then it says that you have cancer and you get really scared, you definitely should not make a video about your health problems because I got diagnosed with about 20 different heart conditions via my comment section, including, but not limited to, a ventricular sepal defect, hyperthyroidism, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, COVID, the COVID vaccine, early signs of a heart attack, atrial fibrillation, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and pneumonic pneumopericardium, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, probably type 3 as well, neurological issues, not surprising, superventricular tachycardia, sp sp spoiled brat syndrome, hypoglycemia, and dysomnia. Yeah. But I went to the cardiologist and he didn't seem that concerned. Off the bat, like he listened to my heart, he, he listened to all my parts, and it, 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 all, it was all fine from there. I have not gotten an echogram yet, which is what I'm doing in a few weeks, but he did slap on a heart monitor, which I wore for two weeks. I already took it off because I had to send it back, but it was just, it was like a command strip basically. It was a lot stronger than a command strip. And when I took it off, my skin turned like bright red and it was so painfully itchy. It was like when you have an itch in your foot, but it's like deep in your foot and you can't scratch it because I couldn't scratch through. Anyway, it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty annoying. And I was actually kind of happy having a heart monitor as I walk around because it's like this constant little device making sure that things are going as it should be where if i felt something funny i could click a button and it would report it to the doctor and it was also just naturally keeping up with my heart so while i was sleeping it would notice if anything funny happened and so unfortunately slash fortunately not anything crazy happened like i didn't have a heart attack over the two weeks and really i didn't have any horrible episodes to the point that i was about to pass out but I had a few very small instances of what was happening previously. So I sent the monitor in and they already viewed it and they said, the doctor has reviewed your cardiac event monitor results and it's good news. The results showed benign skipped heartbeats, nothing dangerous. That's, that's the whole message. My initial reaction should have probably been better, but I was actually kind of bummed. Not that I want like cancer of the heart or like to be about to die, but I kind of wanted something fixable because I can't really function. <laughs> like, it's really bad. I can't really do much of anything when it's happening. And it can happen for up to six to eight hours at a time where I'm just knocked out, like in bed, literally I'm struggling to breathe because it's so bad. So, yay and aw at the same time. But overall, yes, I'm glad that the results came back like that. Of course, I'll, I'll get the echogram, which will basically reconfirm if my, I forgot what it's called, my heart regurgitating blood. Basically, my heart's been regurgitating blood the wrong way. I guess that's what regurgitating is since I was 17, uh, which I did not know, or 15, I can't remember. I didn't even know in the first place. A lot of people thought I just forgot that I had heart disease, which again, it's not like a serious heart disease. It's just a, I don't know, it's not that bad. Like, but people are like, how'd you forget? And I didn't forget. I just never knew. So people were like, why no one ever tell you? Well, that's a whole story in its own that I don't really feel like getting into on video, but basically, yeah, I wasn't told I have that, that, that I had the problem. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about it at some point, but that's not for today. The comments on the first video were, hilarious and informative and also kind of scary um, like people saying how they had to have open heart surgery at age 24 and all these other things in between i really like the comments and i thought it was actually a fun video to make and see the response of so i do want to do an entire video dedicated just to uh, reading the comments because you've probably seen my recent series that i started where i just literally read your comments and i think it's fun not only is it admittedly kind of easy but i think the videos uh come out quite well so I'll do one of those 
for that as well. But uh, people are also asking about my intake. Now, yes, I have a very trash diet. I have, I feel like I have like a college student diet, like McDonald's and Wendy's, chips, ice cream, you know, the good stuff. It's basically carbs and sugar. And luckily I've never been too hooked on caffeine or alcohol. So I stopped drinking both of those. I mean, I already wasn't really, I would have caffeine and like Dr. Pepper, but for the past over a month now, because I went to the ER in, on March 19th, it's not April 24th. Yeah, I haven't had any caffeine or alcohol in, okay, aside from one Mountain Dew. I didn't realize Mountain Dew had caffeine and I drank a really big Mountain Dew and it was really good. It was the lemonade one that you can get from Witch Witch and it was worth it. The heart, the, yeah, I would have risked a heart attack to drink that again. Either way, uh, I have not consumed those. Is that related to why I'm feeling better now? I don't think so because I was feeling fine a few months ago and I was consuming like tons of caffeine and a little bit of alcohol. So it is what it is. So overall, as of today, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I, I, there were many scares that came along with it because I was like, if I felt the way that I was feeling the day that uh, it got really bad, if I felt that multiple days, it's like, what am I gonna do? I, I wouldn't be able to record videos. I wouldn't be able to care for animals. I wouldn't have been able to ship animals cause I couldn't drive. I was pretty much completely disabled for that period of time. Uh, for about four, four and a half days or so. So I got pretty behind and I would use that as an excuse as to why I haven't uploaded recently, but I actually just haven't had much motivation to record, but I'm getting back into it, okay? I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I've been uh, working with some reptiles that are ready to come in and go out. So there'll be some more on emerald scales, which leaves us with a surprise unboxing. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you up front, it's probably gonna be boring because it's, is the most common animal we get. But either way, there haven't been many recently. So I think I'm gonna do a whole video. I guess this is kind of a catch up video in a way cause I'm just telling you what's going on. But I, I wanna do a video, it'll probably be called like, FedEx is going to bankrupt me or something because the labels have gotten so expensive. I know the prices of everything have gone up, but the prices of overnight shipping with FedEx, the average label used to be about $54.50, between $54 and $55 or so. And so we would charge 50, just flat rate, and it worked down. We'd eat $10. The box itself cost eight to $10 with all the supplies inside. So we lose about $20 each time we ship. The average label the past couple months has been $85. So if I sell a leopard gecko for $120, which is kind of a lot of money. I mean, people say, like, why are you selling geckos for so much? Well, you take 120, I need a calculator for this. You subtract 85, you subtract $3 for the transaction fee, you subtract $8 for the box, that leaves us with $24. That does not include when I pay for customer support. Let's say this person takes uh, just a little bit of back and forth, $3 worth of customer support. That leaves us with $21. I pay a tax on that. Let's say it's a third. That leaves us with seven is a third of 21, right? So $14 profit from the leopard gecko, which is kind of sad, but either way, uh, yeah, it's stuff that I'll be reevaluating during my break and I need a weapon. Usually I just use the box sword. I'm not sure where it is, but for some reason this is in my office. I don't remember putting it in here, but this works too. Speaking of boxes, which I wasn't talking about, uh, there's as of recording 16 box plushies remaining. If you want to grab one, all of the A grade sold out, all the C grade sold out, but you can get a B grade, which means that it might have some imperfections, but it's at a discount. This animal's coming from Colorado. The katana's so dull now that I can just grab it with my hand, <laughs> but it's still cut, kind of. Ooh, that is a very strong perfume. I've smelled that perfume. I feel like I just walked past someone in Walmart with that perfume. Hey, look at that. I can't really complain about heat packs because at least it's on, but uh, in the instructions it says, do not tape over the red line and the entire thing's taped, but luckily it was pretty warm. It's actually very hot now, so they might not have even needed it. Okay, this is actually um, packaged well. It's it's knotted and everything, which, oh, I got it. Good job, whoever you are, you didn't leave a note. However, I did unbox uh, one yesterday, which 
Uh, I didn't record, but it did have a note which said, Sofrito Brito plus guacamole, $9.10 plus $2.70. They gave me the receipt from Chipotle because they quote, don't have any homework anymore because I, I guess they might have thought it was in an unboxing video. Uh, sorry, your geckos are not an unboxing video, but they did arrive safe and sound. So I'll be putting some of these animals up for pre-order because what I've been doing is the moment they look like they're going to be healthy, I go ahead and just slap them on the site and just say that they're up for pre order. Then they stay here for an additional four weeks after the period that they appear to be like safe and sound and healthy. Uh, and then from that point forward, we can kind of confirm it better. But it gives you more time to set up an enclosure. And the recent in buyers have been interesting. Some have been good, some have been less than good. And I finally got this open. And this animal might be less than good as well. <laughs> I thought this was a healthy normal ball python. It is not a healthy normal ball python. This, this is the this is the skinniest animal here right now. Look at how skinny it is. It looks terrible. I looked at the pictures uh, like just a few minutes ago before opening it up. I realized we didn't really get a close up of the animal normally. Where if they don't send a close up, we ask for more pictures. But I was like, you know what? It's a normal ball python. They've all been good. We don't need it. Well, I guess I should have asked for one because this looks horrible. It's also covered in stuck shed, which, you know, isn't a big deal. It's just one layer. Uh, it might have just been shedding the box, but it looks kind of old. Either way, um, this is a depressing ball python for this video. I thought it would be like, oh, cool, a normal ball python uh, that's healthy and you can pre-order. Nope, you cannot pre-order this one. It's gonna be a while. You know how I said I'm gonna take a break from emerald scales throughout the summer? Well, summer is approaching really fast. This is why I said summer, because I, I wanted to take a break in the spring. But I was like, no, nah, I probably won't be done by the spring. It's already, it's already April 24th. It's gonna be summer and I'm still gonna be not having a break. But either way, I appreciate those of you that have pre-ordered uh, or just ordered in general. But I have a new ball python, woohoo. <laughs> Uh, that'll be it. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll follow up again if you'd like about my echogram at the cardiology appointment. Uh, but that'll be it. I appreciate your advice, like medically in comments, which it sounds sarcastic, but I actually appreciate it. There's some interesting stories, and I appreciate that you care about me and my little low beaten heart. But that'll be it for this video. I'm Alex. This is a um, sad ball python, and thanks for watching.